Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we got some amazing new hardware to unbox. Let's stop gabbing and let's tear into it. Spin that intro. Hey! How are ya? We got a lot of cool new stuff to unbox. Let's stop gabbing. Let's tear into it. RGB knife. Engage. All right, I got stuff from all over. I got some AliExpress. I got something directly from Gigabyte, something directly from EVGA. I got Amazon. Let's knock out some of these small packages so that we can get into some of the more fun packages. All right, so this one is clearly from AliExpress. There's Chinese writing all over it. And let's see, what's in the box? Oh, what's what's in, in the box? box? I'm feeling a little crowded here. Let's make some space like, go. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this first box. This is some brand new risers that I have never had. And these came from AliExpress and they weren't too bad on the price, but these are kind of nice and kind of special. And I'm gonna show you why. These have 10 capacitors on there. I remember back in the day, we'd have a couple, then it went up to four, then recently eight capacitors. These have 10 capacitors on there. These are actually version 012 max, so version 12 max. And it has the nice metal shield on there and it offers a six pin input on this side and a six pin input here. And then a gold plating around here and then a nice white board with the red trim and accent. So I actually have at least four or five different types of risers that I've never used that I'm gonna probably test out in a nice little comparison video coming up. All right, next, let's just go ahead and open this guy and see what it is. Here we go. Didn't get it all the way. There we go, got it that time. These came from Amazon and these are some beautiful custom anodized green thumb screws to hold my GPUs in the rig. I'll put a screenshot of it up on the video so you can see what it looks like. And of course, I'll link any of the items down in the description if you want to check those out. These are super nice and it's just so much better than using a standard screw. You could use your thumb screw and then plus it just looks so much nicer in a rig. All right, next. This one's a definitely an AliExpress as well. It's got the Chinese writing on it and the packaging you can tell. And it's been through customs and this one's actually not been dented. So that's kind of exciting. Get out of here. And this one, I'm not 100% sure what it is. So let's open it up. Ah, this is a nice little unique item. And I haven't seen anyone try one of these yet. This is a PCIe 1 to 7 splitter. It actually has six USBs on the top and one on the side. And this is supposed to turn my single PCIe slot into seven GPUs. If you have a six GPU motherboard and you use one of these, you could turn that potentially into a 12 GPU rig. And I'll be kind of excited to test this out to make sure that it actually functions. My one to six is much larger than this one and it actually has a fan. This is passively cooled. So we'd like to try it out and see how it functions. All right, next, this one. This one is from, I believe it's from Newegg. This is a Newegger. And this is a 512 gigabyte team group SSD. This was on sale, 40 bucks. Cannot beat 40 bucks for a 512 gigabyte SSD. Moving on. All right, you can tell from the packaging that this one is an eBay package. So let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? All right. It's a very beat up box and he did heavily tape it. So that's a plus. And <laughs> Not the best packaging, just kind of loose in there, bouncing around, some bubbles, some newspaper. But here's the box, <laughs> it's still in there. <laughs> oh, 
This is a Founders RTX 2070 Super. This is a sweet looking card and it's supposed to have came with everything that was naturally included, including something extra. And this is a Corsair RGB water block to go with this specific card. And the whole package cost me nearly $700 on eBay. I bid it up and I snagged it at the last second. I really wanted another 2070 Super Founders because it's just such a beautiful card. All right, next, I'm not sure which box came from which, so let's just go ahead and open this one. I believe this one is another eBay purchase. And it is another GPU. Packaged well this time. Box looks in very good condition. And now we've got a Founders RTX 2060 Super to go with our 2070 Super. Let's see how this looks. Oh, and this is interesting. It still has the original curbside pickup slip where he purchased it from Best Buy. This was purchased back in April of 2020. Very nice. Let's see what it looks like. Woo, hoo -hoo, she's pretty. She's real pretty. All right, last three. Let's see what's in the box. All right. I'm not sure where this one came from. Ah, uh, this has been an interesting journey. This is a gigabyte. RTX 3060 Ti, full hash rate. This is an RMA. I'm gonna make a future video about this. Long story short, it's been five months to get this RMA back. Five months from start of process to get this card. And it better work, it better show up in Windows, and it better be full hash rate. All right, next one. I know both of these have to be from the same place because that's all I have left. Let's open the little one. I know exactly what it is. I've actually been sitting on this for a few days trying to get around to opening it. Jar box. Ta-da! The RTX 30. 50. I got this brand new from EVGA. I signed up for the queue right when it went live. This is actually the gaming XC model. So it's the $330 model, not the nice $250 3050. But that's okay. We're going to put this through the rounds in an upcoming video. We're going to test it on all the algorithms and we'll give you all the nerdy numbers. And then, of course, go over ROI and whether or not you should buy this. And last but not least, another one from EVGA. And if you've ever bought EVGA and it's came in an all black box like this, you know, it's probably B stock. This is an RTX 3070 for the Win 3 with the beautiful RGB. It is a RX serial number. That is the B stock equivalent to the full hash rate. So this should be a full hash rate card. Total cost I picked this up was just under $800 on a B stock drop. So that's still a little pricey, but if it's full hash rate, full hash rate used cards like this are going for around $1,100 to $1,200 on eBay still. So a pretty good value, and it should get me around 62 mega hashes on Ethereum on around 120 to 130 watts. So pretty good value. Let's do a recap. All right, recap. What all did we get? We got an RTX 3070 EVGA for the win. That's off of B stock, around $800. We got a RTX 3050, brand new from EVGA from the Notify Q. That was about $330. We have a Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti that I bought new clear back in April that went bad and went through a whole process. Five months later, I got the RMA. It should be a full hash rate replacement. 
And then I have a Founders Edition RTX 2060 Super and a Founders Edition RTX 2070 Super. Picked them up for $600 and $700 respectively. And the 2070 came with a nice water block that the end user provided. Then some accessories. I got a six pack of new version 12. X plus risers. I got a 127 PCIe adapter. I have a 512 gigabyte SSD for 40 bucks and two sets of 10 on some beautiful green thumb screws that will go great with a 12 GPU Nvidia rig. So there you have it. There's the whole loot for today. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> Well, there you have it. We got some amazing new GPUs, some great new mining accessories. We're going to get all this stuff mining, and get it hashing away. If you're new to mining and you need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned veterans in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew!